Hey everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 323. Today we're back playing some more Banjo Tooie, picking up right where we left off last time. And I have some very good news for you guys. One is that I'm feeling a little bit better finally, at least, especially compared to the last episodes of this I recorded. I was actually dying then. Uh, so I am feeling much better today, despite the paleness you may see in the webcam. That's just because I got a light facing on me. The second bit of good news, and perhaps this is why I'm feeling better, is that we are likely, I'm not going to say guaranteed, are likely going to, let's go ahead and get in here, we're likely going to be done with Grunty Industries today, starting with a boss fight, okay, just kidding, apparently not yet, uh, I think we can get past, well, well, let me, let me clarify, when I say we're going to be done with Grunty Industries, I mean to say that we should be done with everything we can do currently, uh, which unfortunately isn't everything, we are going to have to come back here eventually, uh, but it should be much quicker in the future when we do it. So we're going to climb all the way down here. Our shadow is now going to appear. And we're going to get ourselves prepared by switching to grenade eggs, which I can't help but notice. I don't have a ton of. We're going to prepare for what is likely the hardest boss fight in the entire game. Come on in, you little snaky son of a gun. What on earth is that? Uh, I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. I mean, it kind of does like a snake. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how the poor thing struggles to get in here? I mean, I don't mean to do Goofy instead of Banjo. They shouldn't be much trouble then. Okay, Kazooie, well, you've spoken too soon because this boss is not fun. You'll see, in the initial stages of this boss fight, you'll go, this boss seems pretty easy. And then, phase two and three kick up. Weldar, visually impaired welding torch. Ahem, I believe it states quite clearly in the workers' guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Uh, no. Oh, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. Okay, so he's going to try to go to work on us. Try as he might, he will not succeed, though these cameras are definitely on his side. Time to turn up the power. Again, the camera's definitely not on my side. Oh, we also are not at full health, which kind of sucks. You'll have to come closer. Okay. So, I'm at the wrong eggs. That's great. Uh, okay. So, what you're seeing there was a missed opportunity. That is the ideal moment when we were supposed to hit him, but we didn't. Okay. This is annoying as heck. He has uh, the projectile type kind of like Grunty in the, um, in the final boss fight of last game, where he like predicts where you're going to go. Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. Yeah, we're gonna not refrain from doing that. How about a few nuts and bolts? <laughs> Get it? It's like a it's like a teaser to a future game. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't know where the nuts and bolts are. I know he shot them at us, but they're behind us somewhere. By the way, expect us to take at least one attempt. Okay, what's he gonna do now? He's gonna do okay. Now he's gonna do this. So this phase, you're going easy peasy. Why why are you afraid? Okay, well we're not quite there yet. Perhaps if I used my weights a little more. Okay, so you have to go into chicken leg mode here. Chicken leg mode helps you dodge that. Don't make me come after you. Okay, now he's gonna chase us down. That's okay, This is we're used to this. Just keep your distance. Wait for him to suck you in. Again, I can't really see him. Okay, now he's gonna jump. He'll jump back to the center, so get as much distance as you can. Back to the center, and now he'll suck us in again. Uh, at which point you want to do this, which I almost forgot to do, but that's okay. I got the controls right. Three down. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch locator? All right. So now you ever played the game, the floor is lava. Well, basically we're playing it now, except it's not exactly lava. Just these segments, these, these squares are not able to be walked on, which as you could have guessed, is real obnoxious from a dodging bullet standpoint. Okay, he's gonna come after us again. He's probably, yeah, he's gonna shoot some more lug nuts. Again, really not fun, but that's okay. So we're just gonna stay right here and we're gonna try to, try to get him in place, all right. Didn't successfully do it. Okay, I need the HP from this guy really badly. So we will go ahead and shoot that in there. Shoot that in there. We seem to be out of range. Please get it in his mouth, in the mouth. In the mouth. Farreak me. So here's the thing, my friend. That one was in your mouth. Oh, 
Oh, we've been eaten. Okay, great. Uh, so yeah, this is gonna take multiple attempts because it's ridiculous, literally ridiculous how difficult this one is. Okay, so we're gonna stand here. Let's switch to a different form of egg and let's try to shoot these guys a uh, little, little freezy style, little freezy style. Okay, this doesn't seem to be working. Let's see if we can get them with the regular eggs. Maybe thaw them out. Thaw them out, thaw them out, thaw them out. Switch back to this. Okay, now we're gonna have a little bit of this. Shoot him in the face. I've messed up. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. I think I'm dead. God. Where's that HP? Hey, where's that HP that you dropped? All right, well, nothing doing. So we'll just go back over to this corner and we'll try the exact same thing again. Uh, I still think we're probably gonna die. Where are they? Where are they? There's still HP over there. I really need to go try to get that HP. Okay. I've been zapped. I've been zapped. It's, it's very difficult. However, I'm going to join you back when we're at the same stupid BS part. Oh, it spawns me outside the world. I'll just go ahead and walk 10,000 miles back there. All right, Weldar, are you a bear? Yes, and you're heading for the recycling plant. All right, let's try again. Because you know what they say, second time is the charm. In fact, you know what? If I actually do want to get all the things I need to get done in this episode done, I'm probably just going to join you back when he has the same HP back he had last time. No, please. Ooh, he's doing it. All right, electricity's back on, so let's go ahead and pick back up here, I suppose, even though I'm still gonna hate it because it's just a bunch of BS. At least it gives you like a couple little invincibility frames there to kind of figure out what exactly you're doing with your life. Because otherwise that would just be despicable. Despicable me even, one might say. That's in your mouth. That's in your mouth, that's okay. I, I don't know how you do it without taking damage because you get sucked in to the electricity. So I don't really know how you... Okay, somehow did that. Somehow did that. And he's done it. Okay, well, he's taking a hit, but that's okay. We, that's gotta be in. That's gotta be in your mouth. All right, one more hit and we got it. We're running a little bit low on HP. He's gonna do the jumpy thing again, which is fine. Just make sure you get out of his way, out of his way. And we have so much HP. Uh, yeah, by the way, if he jumps on you, you go down to one HP which at this point is pretty much death. I don't think there's a way you get out of it without dying at one HP. So, unless you're like really good, which uh, it's been established that I uh, am not. So we're gonna stand right here and spawn camp him. And as soon as he comes down to breathe us in, egg in his mouth, <sighs> end of the day. Oh, well, looks like my welding days are over. Well, thank God you deserve it, my friend. All right. So he's been blown up, which is good. And his head has smashed the control panel, thankfully, which is gonna allow us to do several things that you'll be seeing right before he rises. The electricity shuts off. Can you tell that was electricity? What a great animation. I mean, it was the 2000s, so give him some slack. Doors get open back up so we can escape and everything is frozen. Not the movie. You're gonna notice, boom, boom, boom. The lovely fan has stopped. The fan that precluded us from doing anything earlier has stopped. Thank goodness. We have a lot to do today still. Uh, and I'm not looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and talk to his decapitated head. A little morbid, but uh, let's see what he wants to say. Groan, I appear to be quite badly injured, I'd say. That's too bad. Now, where's our prize? Sorry, I, I guess I can let you have this. All right, a jumpy pad. Thank you, which is going to allow us to escape from here. I appreciate it. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. Oh, it's the wrong voice. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind the giant fan for safekeeping, but there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Duh, when will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? Well, it's like permanently open now because you're deceased. So that's okay though. So let's go over here and let us do a couple things. First of all, most obviously we're gonna jump up to here. We're gonna climb this. I wish I could do it at double speed, but I cannot. Oh, also you'll notice the posters behind me are finally back up. Uh, the posters I had at my college dorm, there's more over there, but uh, you can't see them, so that's fine. Uh, we'll just, I mean, you can just assume that, yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying, assume. You know they're there. I'm telling you that they're there. So we're going to go here, and before you leave, if you're following along at home, kiddos, you're going to want to go straight across this pipe the other way, and you're going to find a magic piece of toilet paper right here. Go ahead and grab this. Thank you so much. Eight Cheeto pages. We could definitely unlock some cheats. I think it's every five you get a new cheat. Maybe it's like every three. Whatever it is, we definitely have enough for a cheat at least. Then we're going to come through here. And 
we are going to say what a wonderful phrase. We're gonna try to adjust the camera angles because the camera's real bad, but we're gonna do the exact same thing here. We're gonna run straight across. Might as well bring out Kazooie to speed up the process. And then here's to hoping we get this first try because I do not feel like having to run all the way back. So let's go, let's get it. He's done it. He has gotten this, don't take damage. Well, you know what, that's cool. Just give me a jiggy that it requires that I take damage. That's pretty good design. Uh, and we can now enter this room which I already know we can't do anything in, but I thought I would visit anyway just to show you that we can't do anything in. So what you'll see here is some more of this unfortunate toxic waste that we cannot enter. Um, however, there is a split pad here. In the future, when we get an ability for Banjo, he will be able to stay protected when going underwater. So we will need that for later, but not for now. Um, instead now, uh, what do we need to do? There's a couple things. I think I'll start with the Kazooie stuff. Yeah, I think I'll start with that and then we'll go to the fun stuff. So what we're going to do right now is right about now, Funk Soul Brothers. We're going to get out of here and I'm going to uh, first exit the level complete. No, oh, I... It's just infinite damage. It's impossible to not take infinite damage. Then you leave. Uh, we're going to leave this level completely. Thank you. And uh, we're going to go outside. There is one more window. When I was flying around last episode, or perhaps it was the episode before that, I honestly can't remember. Uh, whichever episode that I was doing all the flying in, I said there were three windows, and I was so sure that there were three windows. And in fact, there were three windows, and one of them was in uh, the most obvious place I could have imagined. It's my own fault for not noticing it. So, we're going to go and open up that window with a good old crack of an egg. Not like a breakfast time thing, but uh, alright, go ahead and get your big meaty claw out of here. The other window is right above the entrance. Look at that. It's right there. Little low. And that'll do it. Okay. So, now, I need to reach a flight pad. And after, or not a flight pad, first I need to split up. I need to split up Banjo and Kazooie. This next one is a Jiggy for Kazooie only. Um, and it's also going to require the use of grenade eggs. Pretty much grenade eggs are the most useful eggs in this entire thing. They give you plenty of other eggs just for fun, basically. You never really use them. Okay, so we're going to switch to Kazooie, who's unfortunately going to be at very low HP. Yeah, why? Why is this necessary? Can we get some more? I would like to get a little more HP before I take on this challenge because it's not going to be fun. All right, well, you know, these guys just don't contain HP, so uh, silly me for considering that they might, but we got one from there, so we should be able to jump over this because Kazooie's got the skills. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I think the easiest flight pad is probably just to teleport ourselves to the roof, which reminds me we need something else while flying, but I will do that after I get back to Banjo. Thank you for reminding me, Brain. Well, you're welcome. So we'll do this one first. We're going to go on the roof. At which point we will grab some feathers and then we're going to plummet straight down. We're looking for the entrance. It is right here. And we're going to fly in here as Kazooie. Now you're not actually supposed to be able to do this one until later in the game. You're supposed to get an ability called Glide. But luckily, with Kazooie's uh, ridiculous jumping distance. Okay, I have goofed. So hopefully I can do this. I have done it. Uh, with Kazooie's ridiculous gliding distance. And you can also like chain together... Um, a jump and a slide and stuff. Okay, so you're seeing from here, we have to get to the middle. Now, normally that would be impossible, but uh, whether by glitch or by design, Kazooie actually gets a little... Whether by glitch or by design, Kazooie actually gets a little bit of a boost jump um, because you can do this. Watch this. Watch this. Let me test it out first. No, let's not test it out. Throw caution in the wind. Jump. Jump. And you can do the attack. And you can land right here, which you're not supposed to be able to do. Intruder alert. Backup required to defend Grunty's treasure. So you're gonna, gonna want to go into eggs as soon as possible and just keep firing forward. Uh, if you didn't know what to do here, this part's pretty difficult because you gotta fight all these tip tops. And if you don't get into your grenade eggs right away, they will come zap you and you will almost never be able to, to stop them. However, there is a fortunate little thing you can do uh, while I go and grab this Jiggy for free. Uh, you can actually, okay, you can relocate yourself. Uh, you see that pipe over there to our left? Please though, just grab it. It's very simple. It's a simple task, thank you. 
Uh, there's a lovely pipe over here. You can actually go on the pipe and I don't think they'll come after you and you can shoot them from afar. So that's an option as well. Uh, looking for Banjo. You guys seen my friend Banjo? Guess I'm just gonna jump down and see where he is. He is over here. And again, we can use our magical move to do this. Still take damage. However, I think I canceled it out because I did that. Okay. Jiggy next uh, has been attained, whatever. We're now gonna teleport back to the roof once again because I forgot something again. You'll notice in these episodes, I always like say something, I'm giving up on you. I always say something that I think I remember from when I was a kid that I remember just slightly wrong. So I initially said I think there were two things on both of the smokestacks. Uh, turns out I was both right and wrong. There are not two things on top of the smokestacks. However, you'll notice right here, there is uh, some poor construction work. It is grunty, so what else could we expect? And we're gonna blast right through it and go inside of this. And oh, grand prize is one more Jinjo. Boosh, grab that Jinjo. And that's actually all six in the red Jinjo family, which is going to lead to another Jiggy for us, which is great. Um, now, the next thing we need to do uh, we still need to wash all of the rabbit's clothes. That's going to be uh, our, our mission for the rest of this level, and I think that's the last thing we can do. But before I do that, it's very important that I re remember this, because I almost forgot. And if I would have had to go all the way back to do this, I would have been very upset with myself. So, we're going to go ahead and, please don't touch me, teleport back to the second floor. Once on the second floor... Um, there is an area we need to go to to unlock a door. That door will allow the washing machine uh, to reach all of the different Roger Rabbits. So, let's start with that. Let's go ahead and find that. It is not through there. In fact, I believe it is the other way. Maybe the complete opposite way. Is it this way? This isn't looking that familiar to me, but it could be in here. Let's check this. No, this is how we got to the second floor, so that is definitely not it. That's how the washer gets to the second floor. All right, we'll do some soul searching. It's around here somewhere. How big could the second floor be? Okay, that's the way we get up to something else. This is... The, oh, that's the door. That's the door we need to open. Okay, so we need to go this way. Okay, so without that door open, you're in for a rough time. Uh, because that's how the washer gets onto the second floor up here. However, it is as simple as simple as coming up here, jumping across here, getting rid of your bootsies, jumping up here, coming over. We've done this before. Same old song and dance. Dodge the lightning. Don't ride it. That's Metallica's job. We'll come over here. I hear a rabbit crying. We'll come through here. Again, lights just peering through the sky, but that's no big deal. Step on this button and boom. Easy as that. Opened up. Okay. So don't touch me. Let's go ahead and run into Wumba's Wigwam. And let's get this teleportation going. Like I said, I think the last thing we need to do is clean all of the rabbit's clothing. And so, now no better time than now to do it, essentially. So, uh, and I think it's the last thing we can do in the level. Because, let me check. We should be at six or seven. I think we should be at seven jiggies right now. If we're not, I'm going to cry. Please tell me we are at six jiggies right now. Let me think. We're gonna get one from this that'll put us at seven. What are the other three? There is one Jiggy underneath the water where we couldn't go. There's one Jiggy in the same kind of area, but we also need another Banjo move for later. Please dodge this. Um, where is the, what is the last Jiggy? We beat the boss, we got that. What in this level have we seen? But haven't done yet. You guys are probably wondering why I'm coming out here. You forgot there was a rabbit outside, didn't you? And the only way you can access it, because <laughs> washing machines can't climb ladders, the only way you can access it is through here. So we're gonna go wash this guy's clothes. Maybe get a nice thumbnail going here. Actually, this one is the worst angle because you have to talk to him. Yeah, in this little thing. A washing machine, could you give my overalls a quick spin? Throw them inside and I'll give it a try. Is it safe? I don't want them to get ripped. Just drop your shorts, buddy. We haven't got all day. All right, a little weird. Apparently we are a sucking washing machine because those have become, and also I'm sorry if these like stripes on my shirt are not easy on the eyes. Sometimes webcams mess stuff up like that. Okay, I have to find his five skivvy workmates. Don't know what that means necessarily, but uh, I know I don't want to be it. So 
Let us. What is the last Jinjo? Okay, well, apparently one pair of undies isn't quite enough to get the job done here, so we'll do that. Uh, the washing machine sucks, by the way. Perhaps the worst transformation in the game. You would think a thing made of metal wouldn't take damage from things. It does. It takes damage from everything. It's very hard to control, and its attack sucks. So, uh, it's certainly no T-Rex. So, we need to heal the six of these. Last Jiggy. Other than the two goopy ones. Oh! As the wa- Oh, I would have been so mad if I forgot that. As the washing machine, we do still need- Hold on. Help. As the washing machine, we do still need to head up, please, to quality control where we shot the targets from last time. Uh, now that the targets are open, help, like it's so hard to control. Heavy soil wash if you don't mind. Um, okay, we're gonna do this. Again, we're looking for a decent thumbnail here. I'm not so sure about this one, but maybe. Uh, that's better. Dude, this reminds me of my, uh... What's it called? Gmod series that I did with uh, my good friend, Mr. Ginger Ninja for a little bit. If you guys never saw that, I don't blame you. It was a long time ago and most of you weren't even here then. Uh, but I recommend you go back and watch it. It was fun. And in one particular episode, we uh, became washing machines and it was pretty cool. But it's it was a lot cooler then than it is now. So uh, perhaps the most annoying thing about this character is this. Mechanical personnel may not use the warp pads. Use the service elevators instead. So you may have seen that we, you know, had all these service elevators throughout. I just hate everything of, as the washing machine. Uh, we opened all these service elevators. They couldn't just make it easy and allow you to warp from place to place. You gotta use the service elevator. So, we'll start on floor one. Where there are... Stop, please. Don't, don't shake. Don't shake. Where there are two more rabbits... Um, and those two rabbits are one in the workers' quarters, one right out around yonder. There's the workers' quarters, and one is right here. They're pretty much ripe for the picking for us. Heavy soil. Okay, well, you know what? If you guys could get some different dialogue, that would be cool. You're kind of grinding on my gears. I'm not digging that. Clean them up. Put some pants on them. No more underwear. I mean, no more naked. Three more to go. Uh, and unfortunately... Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I don't really understand how they get clean when we clean their clothes. I don't think it works like that. If it did, I would do my laundry a lot more often. Okay. Hello, sir. In the mumbo wumbo jumbo room. Heavy soil wash, if you don't mind. You think this dude likes mumbo jumbo? <laughs> Maybe a little too much? All right, he's cleaned up. We'll throw... This could be a decent thumbnail. Yeah, we like vomiting the overalls onto him. Two more skivvy workmates. I remember where one is. He's gonna need a quick rinse, he says. That's okay, you can rinse yourself all you want. I'm not gonna be in the room to look. Okay, just go ahead and get out of here. And now, the next one. Well, let's see, we have a... Did you hear that? He's happy now. What a time to be alive. Go ahead and go back in the service elevator. Uh, let's go ahead and take this to the fifth floor, uh, which will take us up to the roof because I know there is one in there. The other one, I, do, I don't remember where it is, so I don't want to... Oh, I know where he is, I know where he is, I know where he is. Um, you hear him sad already? He's sad. Come in here. We're going to have enemies, I'm pretty sure, so just, like, prepare to take damage, because there's no way to dodge it. There is zero way to dodge it, and the camera angle is so bad, you can't actually see. Also, the underwear is too high, so you can't actually hit anything. Hello, sir. With the crying underwear, I believe you're in the other room, so we're going to have to go through here. Mechanical personnel is allowed to pass, thankfully. And, all right... Great, we got some tip-top bots. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, he's up here. Thank gosh. Heavy soil wash, if you don't mind. I, I'm starting to mind more and more the more I hear the same dialogue. So, if we could uh, fix that, that'd be cool. Great, now I've just got one more skivvy workmate whose overalls need a washing. Well, you know what? He's going to get it. He's going to get the cleanest wash he's ever had. Open, please. I'm be about to be zapped. Thank you. Okay, I'm about to take damage on this because it's impossible not to. Thank you. Go ahead and just destroy him. Again, you can't, so just dodge him. Okay, come in here. Come in here. Uh, we need to head to floor three first, because floor three is where the final rabbit is, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm not superstitious, but I am a little sure. Okay. Now, where does the third floor service elevator deposit us? Right by the boxes, right where I needed to be. Okay, so we need to go... Again, it's just like impossible to sneak past these guys, so you just don't. 
Uh, we need to go into the boiler plant, into the back room, the room that we couldn't see, we could see through before, but we couldn't get in. Now we can get in and we can, uh, this is the only rabbit that has an actual excuse for being dirty. It's impossible. I'm done. Goodbye. Just clean his clothes and get me out of here. Hello. Hello. I'm here to talk to you. I'm a little close here. Heavy soil wash, if you don't mind. All right. He's just lurking in the background. We almost sucked the entire rabbit in there. So that would have been bad. And the final rabbit's clothes have been cleaned. That's the whole team's overalls washed. We'd like you to have this. How exactly do they communicate with each other to know who's been washed and who hasn't? They got like some dirty walkie talkies that they're like peeping back and forth on. I see. I see how it works. Okay. So the next jiggy, which is in the quality control room. I'm going to try to hit this guy from afar. Got to get him. Got to get him. Nice. Got to get this guy. Get him. Nice. I'm a sharpshooter. I'm a sharpshooter. You got nothing on me. Um, the last one I believe is on the fourth floor. We need to find the door that can only be accessed mechanically that leads to, that leads to your mama's house, <laughs> uh, that leads to the quality control room, which I think we already, f like, I think it's pretty easy to find. I thought it was in this room, so I'm incorrect. Is it not in this room? It must be up here then, because this is the only place that uh, someone of our stature can actually reach. And that is it right there. Dodge the barrels, because they will get you. Go into quality control. The jiggy that we unlocked last time should be chilling right here for us. Please be here, otherwise I will cry. Oh, thank God. Now, here's what's confusing. There's a Kazooie jumpy pad on this side, which which is, makes no sense. Because Kazooie can't get to that side, so why have it? I guess it's in case, perhaps, once you get the glide ability, maybe Kazooie can glide far enough to fly over, so they had to put that in there as a precaution in case people got stuck. Could be. I have no idea. All I know is, please make me not the washer anymore, because the washer is the worst transformation ever. How do I escape? I escape from here. Make me not the washer. And... At long freaking last. It took a while, guys. It took a long time. I mean, three episodes. That's not bad. I think we spent just as much time in Pterodactyl Land. However, we can be so enthused that we're finally, for now, done with Grunty Industries. However, when we come back in the future, the two jiggies we have to get... Okay, great, cool. Uh, the two jiggies we have to get are literally two of the easiest jiggies you can get. You literally just have to swim. So, uh, that will be quite easy. Help. Once we have to come back, uh, you know, it's a, it's a day I'm mostly dreading. So, uh, not really going to talk about it yet. Wombas Wigwam, change me back. How much time did I, I'm trying to think. Cause like my recording says I'm at 30 minutes right now, but I definitely spent some time getting back to the boss, but probably not that much. But how much over 30 minutes do I want to go? Do I want to just end it here and say Grunty Industries is done? Or do we want to get a little... I think we should try to get a sneak peek at the next world. Which is... I basically just whine a lot. The next world is difficult. Difficult in a... Difficult way. You take a lot of damage in the next world, we'll say. Uh, but it's not as complex as this garbage. There is still some complex stuff. Uh, there's an annoying thing with aliens where you have to like... Go back as Mumbo, bring the guy to life, then you gotta switch to the Mumbo transformation. Basically, kind of like we had in this level. There's some stuff like that, but a lot more of it is a lot more straightforward. However, I don't remember a lot from the next level. So, like, we're getting to the point in the game. Uh, we're going to Hellfire Peaks. Maybe Hellfire Peaks, I don't remember. That wouldn't make sense. That's double, double hockey sticks, but also it's double heat reference, and I don't think that would be it. Uh, we don't have the springy shoes yet. Or, yes, we do. So, we can actually go up here now. I think. I don't really know what's up there, but I am intrigued. So, I think I will go and look. Now, the question is, are the sticky boots all the way down at the end of this thing? Because if so, yeah, they are. It's a little obnoxious. I can't say I'm a huge fan of that. I'd like to get one of these guys out of the sky to help us out. Okay, let's go ahead and just... Yeah, you go. Put them on in stride. And let's head on down here. Let's climb up here and see what's going on. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is the way we either get to the final level or to the end of the game. And if it's the end of the game, I don't want to be here. I just want to see 
What's going on up here? Okay, so we got this. Get rid of that. Yeah, this is definitely the final level in the game. We're not ready to go in there yet. However, we can do this as a shortcut uh, so that in the future we can just jump on this pipe and come up here. So that's kind of nice. Uh, but also this world isn't unlocked yet. So how many did it say I needed? How many does Cauldron Keep need? I have 56, but how many does this need? It is written that 55 Jiggies are required. I got one more than you need. You have enough Jiggies to attempt my challenge. Do you wish to warp to my sacred temple? I should because it's quicker. And I should just do it now. I think I will just do it now. Um, let's just go ahead and do these dumb puzzles. No, no, they're not dumb. Sorry, Rare. Or whoever you are listening. Uh, let's just go ahead and solve the puzzle now because it's it's ready to go. We only have two more levels left. I think. And then we go back and we collect everything. We're getting close to the end of this game. Not that I'm excited for that, but, uh, you know, it was going to happen sooner or later. So, <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, a little cough there. Like I said, I'm still, you know, a little sick. Not uh, not perfectly healed yet, but uh, maybe someday I will be. Go ahead and place these here. Place these here. You guys don't like watching me do puzzles, do you? You guys like the puzzles? You guys enjoy puzzles? I hope you do. I used to love puzzles as a kid. I was a puzzle-making freak as a kid. I don't mean that to be, like, weird. There's nothing wrong with puzzles. As long as you're not doing, you know, illegal activities with them. But, uh... I was literally, I, I would come home from school, get out a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and just work on it. Can you, could you guess why I didn't have any friends in uh, high school? Or well, actually that was, that was more middle school I think that I used to do puzzles. But uh, puzzles are fun, man. A great time. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's Challenge 9, so the great one will show you the way. Is there one more to unlock after this? I think we could theoretically go finish the game. Which maybe I will just do so we don't even have... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I think we can just go finish the game right now and not even have to do the other stuff. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh, these are sugar-free! No wonder. I was, so I'm doing this, like, low-carb diet. And I was like, these things have less than a carb. How is that possible? Sugar-free. Suddenly makes sense. They're pretty tasty for sugar-free. Oh, that means it probably got, like, aspartame or something and I'm gonna die. Not that that... I don't know if that does anything. I don't study science um yeah i'm on low carb diet i've lost 12 pounds so far hoping to lose a little lot more than that but uh it's a good start what is next what is next hopefully just losing some of this chubby face fat actually it's chubby face fat it's already gone down a bit but uh you know maybe a little bit more you do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge 10 come back later when you do how many do i need for challenge 10 70 what is challenge 10? How many levels are there in this game? How many levels you got? Isle of Hags, hold on. How many levels you got, game? We have Hailfire Peaks coming up. Yeah, there's a hundred Jiggies in the game. There's nine levels. And, wait. Grunty Industries. Oh, I can't look anymore because I haven't gone there? Okay, that's really cool. Uh, or maybe there are only 90 in this game? What? I'm lost. Anyway, let's go in here and let us teleport to... Maybe I should get... Can I even get Dragon Kazooie? Oh, Dragon Kazooie. What am I talking about? Uh, nothing. Can I even get the character that I'm talking about in this? Uh, we are going... Where am I going? Where am I trying to go here? Clifftop? No. Wasteland? No. Clifftop. Clifftop, that's where I'm going. Okay, just had to think about it for a second. We're going to Clifftop. The cliffs of Dover. And we're just going to enter the next level and just look at it in all of its glory. It's out here on the ledge. Why don't you step out from that ledge, my friend? Let's go ahead and take a little look inside and see what we're going to be uh, doing next time. Mmm, Hailfire Peaks Lava Side. It is Hailfire. Two years, finally, I've made it to the warmth of Lava World with a belly full of water. <laughs> He's from the last game. It's been two years since Banjo. Oh, I guess two years have passed. It's right. Lava Train Station, Hailfire Peaks. <laughs> He's pretty happy about it, but uh, I'm not as thrilled yet. Okay. 
God, those gargoyles. There's a lot. This level's annoying. I'm starting to remember. But it at least is cool. It's got some color to it. It's got some theming. And it's a lot cooler than freaking Grunty's Industries is. Uh, obviously, this you, you may have seen it said Lava Site. Uh, what do you know? Already off the bat, we got a little split pad. Splitting up is going to be, yet again, uh, a very big aspect of this level. As I told you when we got the ability in uh, in the K... Or, uh, what was it called? As I told you when we got the ability first that it was going to be. Let's go ahead and... What does this say? Warning, trespassers in the exceedingly hot water are likely to be cooked. Well, I'm not interested in that. Okay, these guys suck. Yeah, these guys suck. Hey, I don't recall you paying for a tour of my volcano. I stepped in the lava. It's pretty hot down here. Uh, yeah, I didn't pay a tour for a tour of your volcano, but... Uh... Oh, freaking ducks! Okay, so one of the first things we're going to want to do is uh, go and kill that obnoxious dude that's shooting us right now. So you actually start off this one with a boss fight, so we'll look to do that next time. I'm going to go ahead and hide and then under the safety of this thing because we should be safe under here. Um, thank you so much for watching. We did it. Hands together. Hold my hand. Hold, my, hold this hand. Hold it. Together, guys. We made it through Grunty's Industries, at least for now. We got a couple more. We got two more jiggies to go back there and get, but we can do those after we finish the game. I'm trying to think of other levels in this game. Am I missing the ninth level? This is seven. Eight is Cloud Cuckoo Land. I guess nine is, but that's the tower to get to Grunty. Okay, well, we're being shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to become a citizen of Playcrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great Playcrastinator, go ahead and send them on by because we'd love to have them. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. I'm going to bed.